How many times have you said to yourself or you've said, or someone else has said to you, it's all about the quality of life. It's quality of life no matter what your age is. And the CareCo Continuum helps people to stay in their homes no matter what condition they find themselves in. Today we're going to focus on CareCo Geriatric Care and the Memory Cafe and Garden. Joining me right now are Helga Fanner, the founder of CareCo, and DJ Nucci, a care manager. How are you, Helga? Good to see you, DJ. Nice Good to, to see, see you. you. Give us an idea of the, uh, the overview of what, of what CareCo Continuum is all about, if you could, please. It, it's basically to enhance quality of life for our seniors. Mm -hmm. So it's, we have several programs that are all tied together mm -hmm. that help people stay at home. And isn't that the key? The longer you can stay in your own house, that, that, that ins more, and more or less ensures your quality of life? Absolutely. All right. Now, what, tell us a little bit about the Kirko Cognitive Memory Cafe and Garden. That, that really is a mouthful. Can you explain what that's all about? <laughs> <laughs> at least I got it right as far as saying it. Go ahead. Uh, it's one of the largest ongoing problems is is memory impairment. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to do a little bit more than just, you know, be in people's homes. Yeah. We, we try to offer some free programs to enhance life, mm -hmm. such as gardening and cooking and art. And we have Tai Chi classes on Mondays and we send artists to people's homes and we have a variety of programs through the Cognitive Fund and our memory cafe which is on our little campus it's uh -huh. the building in the back where seniors meet with families and talk about their issues and deal you know have other people involved yeah. and have the same problems and issues and it's a great yeah. way for them to socialize exactly. well, you know, and, and that's and, and that's really the key is it's keeping the them socializing right. keeping them active yeah. my my late aunt used to do crossword puzzles all the time now the last time that you were on uh, we featured recipes from your care to care cookbook right okay. now how does that that work into the cognitive uh, fund and the memory care memory uh, cafe gardeners well we had such a huge response on yeah. the original care to cook cookbook that we decided we would do another one oh. and we have our gardeners who are just starting a garden on the on the um, patio part of the memory cafe and they were talking about making dips and salads and putting recipes in and so we said you know what this is perfect we'll do another cookbook on top of that we couldn't put all the cookbook all the recipes into the first cookbook because we received so many, <laughs> so, many. so we had taken the the salad section out and the appetizer section out so we're going to do a cookbook this summer a summer cookbook with the with the gardeners from the memory cafe and any facilities that want to contribute or any seniors or whoever wants to contribute to it and, oh, I, I, and I'm sure it's going to be too big again oh, <laughs> so we'll be going into the book. that's wonderful I mean there's they're, yeah. they're part of the program they're Absolutely. Contributing, and they Absolutely. get to see their ideas in the book too which is great Absolutely. It makes them feel like they still have a good sense of self-worth and a lot of value oh they do that's they absolutely all do all right give us an idea DJ if you could about what the geriatric care managers do within the program the geriatric care managers basically bring families together that you know that may be dealing with the issues of memory loss in their family mm -hmm. and they don't know where to go for help so they'll go out and they'll do assessments you know and that's and that's part of this program that we have you know on campus is to basically give them a place to focus their their stress mm -hmm. it's a stressful situation for them nothing's worse than so. being with somebody and seeing them you know having problems like that you're you, you almost in denial a while well yourself. I was, that's what I was just gonna say first it's denial and then it's you know maybe there is a problem where do I go for help mm -hmm. and they know they can come to us for yeah help. I've always said that the frustration is our parents helped us and we're in a position where we want to help oh, them and right. we can't save them like they might have saved that, us that's right. exactly right all right can we talk a little bit about the sale of the book and how the how the, the support uh, goes to the cognitive fund Oh, all the proceeds from the book are going to go to the um, CareCo Cognitive Fund, mm -hmm. and which also funds the Memory Cafe. Okay, great. So, so it's it's you know not for profit. It's mm -hmm. I like it. It's all it's all going for a great cause. Now I understand again, as we like people to do from time to time, that there's a special offer that you're making to our to our Connecticut style viewers. I mean, there, there is. We like to be able to bring something special <laughs> that they can only find here. So, what's the special offer that you have here today? The special is that we will go out and actually do a mini cognitive assessment. Mm -hmm. We will assess the needs of the health care in the home, what, what they may need as far as maybe dressing, toileting, bathing. Um, also check for safety in the
the home? Do they have ramps? Do they have handbars? Do they need wider doors? Do they have a wheelchair? You know, all of those types of things that the families just don't really think of. We have people that can do that. Um, so you we, come out, you come out to the house, and there's five points that you cover, basically. Right. right. There's the financial planning. If someone needs help with that, we have experts on our staff that will help with reverse mortgages, with um, the Connecticut Home Care Program. Mm -hmm. You know, VA which program. is VA funding right. for. Um, that's that's the first one. The second one is the safety check, mm -hmm. which we'll just do a free safety evaluation, like she okay. said, ramps, but also simple things like bars or even the little tiny ramps that go between, you know, the oh, threshold yeah. ramps yeah. are very inexpensive, fixes a lot of problems mm -hmm. to get people, you know, yeah. access mm -hmm. for their homes. Okay, so um, basically, let's, let's, uh, we get, let's put the phone number up on the screen because this is for the first 10 callers only. This right. is something That's, that we can yep. just, Because it's five you've, points. You've got to call CareCo directly, go directly right. to CareCo. You're not calling us, call CareCo, 1-888-982-2731. Now, this is, this is for a chance to possibly get one of 10 home, uh, home visits that you're going to do right. free of charge, right? right. right. Come on right. out and all have All five your, points free of charge. All right. Geriatric. Go through all five points, all right? CareCo Continuum has corporate offices in Waterford, covering New London County. Uh, we've got Branford, uh, which is covering the New Haven County, and East Berlin covering the Hartford Middlesex counties. Again, give them a call right now if you'd like part of that, uh, that home assessment. It really, you'll feel a lot better, a lot less guilt, and you'll know your, your family is in good hands. Give them a call, 1-888-982-2731, or visit carecocontinuum.com. Ladies, this is great stuff. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much. God bless you for what yeah. you're doing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.